cutie pies how are you i feel like what's the girl judy but black um today is a nice day the sun is out the nips are out and i feel great but i'm going out with my friend dre later i don't know if i should keep this wig on or like wear a bun with my hair i think i might wear a bun because it's hot as shit and this wig i rather just deal with my natural hair than like fake hair all over me so i don't like this at all Right here, bring Mr. Ringy over here. So, I don't have that long to get ready, so I'm quickly gonna do my makeup. I, I don't know, like, I started off the day, you know, pretty high energy, as you can tell. Like, I was so excited. And then, I don't know, I thought, I started feeling like, I started feeling sick. And I'm just like, I don't know why I started feeling sick. But it's like my stomach was hurting and I was like, okay, maybe it's because you haven't eaten all day. And then I had a bagel with cream cheese and I still just felt sick. Like I felt really tired and just like nauseous. So I came home literally. I had that wig on. It was getting on my nerves. Like I wanted to take it off. Like it's actually so hot outside. So I was just like, I need to like talk and do my makeup. Um, so I came home and tried to take a nap. Like I cannot take a nap to save my life. Like I don't know what happening but i'm trying to catch the train and i don't know i feel like i might just fuck around and take it over my mood is kind of off but i still like like i still want to go out you know like it's nice and the weather isn't gonna be this it's hot but the weather isn't gonna be like this for like the next couple days so i'm just like might as well take advantage of it you know yeah that's what's been happening like i've just been like trying to make myself feel better but hasn't been really Working. This is present day and and I just wanted to say I love this man so much that I just impulsively bought a ticket to go see him in New York. So four by four, I'm coming for you, baby. Hi, so um today's Saturday. I listen to four by four way too much, like I don't know, he's become like my new 07 of Shake because I just like, I like how his music makes me feel. I'm really fucking hot. But I'm going to campus to get some work done. I also have some videos to edit that I need to edit because it's due by <laughs> Friday. Well, a couple days before Friday. So like I'm about to lock in, do some of my homework. And yeah, Kyra got me this jacket for Christmas. I've been trying to find ways to style it, but I recently have been figuring it out. E they're so cute and they're so comfortable and it's finally like the weather to wear them so this is it i will see you guys when i get to campus <sighs> guys i want to do a lot today i hope i can get it done it's hot and it's gonna rain like i want to like do some work but i also work tomorrow and i'm like it's saturday bitch be a fucking teenager and like go out and have some fun like i've been on the grind <laughs> so, I mean, I love being on the grind, but like I think I just need to balance having a social life and being on the grind And I remember one time Kyra she asked me she was like, well, you're gonna have to take something off your plate And I just was like, I think I'm gonna take my social life off my plate at the moment But like it's getting nice outside like I want to be outside. I want to be around good and great energy um, When I went out on Thursday It was I. because the video wasn't it wasn't videoing it was like her 
but it should be fine now. Um, I just saved this. So I'm leaving. It's like, it's 5.45. I got here at, it's like 2 something. <laughs> Bitch, we's vloggers. <laughs> Are you zoomed in? Okay, but guys, I'm on my way to Livy's crib. Aren't all vape pens dispos dis disposable? Yeah. But it's, it's not a How do you click it? You just, you just pull it. I'm making a smoothie. It's Sunday. And I have to go to work. Ew. It's been a couple days. It's currently Tuesday. I don't really remember the last time I picked up the camera. Life has just been, I don't want to say life in because life, I haven't really even been that stressed. It's kind of getting late, but I do want to work out. Like, I want to move my body. I want to stretch. And something happened today that really pissed me off. And let me just talk to you about it. If you're ever going to give someone a critique about their artwork, one, artists are super sensitive about their shit. So if you're ever going to critique somebody about their artwork, you don't have to like it. But make sure you're critiquing them in the blandest way possible with sense. I know a lot of people who make music. A lot of people who make music are around me. Anytime like someone would send me a song that I don't really like, it's not because the song is bad. Because in my head, personally, I don't think there's a thing as a bad song. I either just don't understand the concept or it's not for me. Like there has to be, if you hear that, that's my sister and blending stuff. There has to be that one thing that you know you like about it. And then if you see something that you don't like about it, be like, hey, I really like the beat of this. I think the tempo really matches the blah, 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 blah. But I think if you load up, lower your reverb, you'll be able to hear the voices better. If you mix this up a little more, you'll be able to hear it better. Not just this shit is ass. Like what is, what exactly don't you like about a certain thing? And don't be that person because somebody just tried to do that to me because I'm just like, one, who are you? Two, this is not a critique. Like at this point, you, you're trying to be, you're trying to be a hater, and it's not looking cute for you. And I think I also just don't like the people that my work was like around. And I think that's going to be the case in a lot of um, situations. I, I'm still getting out of the the habit of not sharing my work and because like you know like I'm super personal and sensitive about my stuff I just want to keep my baby to myself I don't know guys it's been so weird like I want to work on certain things and I also I don't know if I want to have two separate channels for like my art and my film stuff or just keep it under one and just brand myself because I really want you guys to see what I'm doing like see my process and like see the growth of my work because I know I'm not even like where my potential can be and I know I'm going to pass my potential so I really want you all to be able to experience that growth with me but I'm also like an organization fiend like I love things being organized I have my my other YouTube channel which is called express your niche I'm going to put the link below but that's where I want to post a lot more of like the short films that I do music videos collaborations if I ever collab again I feel like I will but after like the collab I'm doing right now I want to I want to take a break I think I'm gonna end this year. I don't know if I'm gonna post this, but I'm gonna try to put it all together and see if it comes up with something. Um, and then, oh well, yeah, I'm gonna record myself at the gym. So, cause you guys keep me accountable. Here's my salad.
just realized a couple weeks ago that the apartment complex that I live in has a gym. And this is it right here. And the reason why I haven't been going to the gym pretty much all winter was because like I didn't know how to gym and be a schoolgirl and be a worker and be a freelance <laughs> filmmaker. But now that the semester is coming to an end, I wanna, like around this time is when I go to the gym anyways and I have like a consistent schedule, but it's been hard like getting to the gym and staying consistent. Like last week I went twice a week. My goal is at least three times a week. This is what I really picked up the camera to talk about. <laughs> I feel like a lot of us, me, I used to wanna go to the gym so I could like build my body in a certain way and look like someone and now Body dysmorphia is a real thing, like, it's really crazy and I realized that my relationship with my body and with food over the years has been very toxic and I want to work out because I know it's good for me and it's good for my mental health. Like, it aligns you, like, I don't know, like, guys, hold on, guys, we are lit, my wig arrived. I'm hyped because I knew it wasn't going to take forever. And my wig is here. I can feel like a human being again. Can you feel me, baby? Look at the hair. It's flowing. I'm just so tired of looking crazy. But tomorrow, all of that comes to an end because when I put that wig on, I'm the baddest bitch. And first of all, that wig does not look like 28 inches. I paid for 28 inches, why the hell it look like 24? I've been watching a debate with Chamansky and Foucault and I really want to have a conversation with someone about it because this debate was just pretty much talking about, Chim they were having a debate and it was like a civilized debate, not like the fucking shit show of political debates that we have now, but I would call it in a sense a form of political debate. I'm watching a video. I can pretty much just tell you that they are debating about the right form of justice. You have a lot of these French philosophers who laid foundation on a lot of American politics and Americans' moralities and justice and all of that. Like these niggas were listening to the French even though they would not all agree with each other. Like some excuse me, some philosophers that weren't really as popular in France were like super popular in America. And I'm watching them because one, you don't really see a lot of black philosophers who are taking to a higher account as they were. We have Michael Angelou, we have James Baldwin, we have Bell Hooks, we have Audre Lorde. And I just really want to understand and like get into the way that they think because I know that they make a lot of solid points and I was just thinking, I'm like, what if like I could take some of this information here and we we're able to like apply it to like African American lives, to black people lives. And I'm listening to what they're saying and taking it with like a grain of salt because like they're only talking about like their point of view. And I'm like, I don't see niggas who look like us like having these debates with people like Foucault. Or Chimansky. It is time to start the hair process. It's currently 12. I'm gonna start doing my hair. It's 12 10. Because I have to bleach the knots. I also want to dye it. I also have to wash my hair, corn roll it, get ready, and then leave. So, this is not a hair channel, so I don't want to like record. Guys, I'm finally done my hair makeup. I feel great. Not really though. I really didn't want to do edges because one, it looks great. Two reasons, like I didn't really know how and I didn't want to fuck it up. Hi guys, I'm ready. I also added some edges because it just looks better, but this is my outfit. It's very chill, very... Hey guys, I am back home and my phone is turning on and the concert was okay but 
<laughs> okay, let me just walk you through what I was like navigating. Like, it was it wasn't like bad. Like I went to the crowd, as you can see from the videos. I I did a little. I participated. Like niggas were not vibing with Yachty's new album. Like they were like, I didn't know he went rock star. I was like, what? I'm like, like he was playing the one song that I really went there for. Drive me crazy, I, I, I lose it, lose it. Just can't walk away, I'm ready to be in bed. Hey guys, it is currently, <laughs> it's 1 a.m. And I'm about to do some homework because I just put my hair in flexi rods. Hopefully they come out right. I, uh, Kyra's having an art show tomorrow. I already picked out my outfit and I somehow, I have a lot of energy. Like I can't sleep. So I'm just like, I have mad work to do. So I might as well, <laughs> you know, get to it. So I'm actually about to start let's see i didn't end up going to sleep until like 5 a.m now i'm sitting here trying to write an essay it's currently 12. i was listening to marley i have to write a thousand words i'm currently at 200. i have like 800 more to go reading my text from other people bro trying to make plans with me is like <laughs> It's the worst like you will hate me trying to make plans with me because I just don't be having time and like I don't be feeling like it if I'm being honest like okay guys as you can see I am taking out the flexi rods from my hair and it looks like it came together I had to re-glue my wig because that bitch came off <laughs> I thought I was recording that whole time I wasn't this is it as you can see but my hair came out pretty decently I'm thankful ah! yeah who the fuck who the fuck okay I'm going to I'm taking my camera with me so gang gang we're vloggers so yeah see you soon What's going on, babes? We're going to La Nona. Actually, I shouldn't. You gotta play Ice Spice now. I know. She a She a baddie. She know she a ten. She a baddie with her baddie friend. Hey guys, we're at Nona's. We're about to get some dinner. About to grow up. I need to pee so bad. So yeah, I don't think I will do much recording. So if not, I will see you when I get home. Keep it. 20 out of 10. 22 out of 10. 25 out of 10. We love you. Guys, I'm home. I just washed my face, brushed my teeth, and I'm going to end the vlog. Thank you guys for being with me. I love you guys. Um, see you in the next vlog. This has been a crazy vlog. I don't really know what's going on, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video which will probably be some adventure about my birthday i don't think i'll be doing much because i haven't really planned anything but in that next video i'll be telling you my plans for the summer which is really exciting and i think you'll enjoy it too it's gonna be fun for both of us bye i love you have a great week <laughs>